Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a beautiful holiday surprise. So I want to quickly mention before I jump into this video, I am currently at my mom's house. I'm in her guest bedroom because I couldn't film this video at my house. It's currently football Sunday. There's a lot going on over there. And I wanted to film this video in peace and quiet. And I have to post this video tomorrow. Well, today when you're watching this. So that's why I'm in a different location. But today I'm going to be talking about my Twinkling Lights collection. This is a limited edition holiday collection with, drum roll, color pop. I feel like at this point, whenever I collab on something, you guys just know it's ColourPop. It's one of my favorite brands to work with because it's so affordable and I love creating cute things that people can actually buy. I love that they're cute, trendy, and affordable. It's my favorite thing about ColourPop. It's why I keep coming back to this brand and why I keep working with them. But for the holidays, we thought it would be such a good idea to get together and create a fun little Twinkling Lights holiday collection. Once this sells out, it will not be coming back. Like once it's gone, it's gone. And I know that you can still get pretty much everything I've ever worked on except for the things that were discontinued. But this collection is really just for the holidays, something I thought would be really cute for you to gift a friend or to gift to yourself. I'm currently wearing some of the products on my face, but in this collection, you do get a liquid lip bundle and you get a super shock shadow foursome. Very reminiscent to the keep me where the light is foursome. Like when I was creating this foursome, I was like, oh, takes me back. I thought it would be really fun to do their traditional super shock shadows for this collection because I wanted something a little bit sparkly and a little bit more magical. And I'm gonna walk you through all of these products, the four lips and the four eyeshadows in just a second. But I do wanna mention, because today is Monday and I had to post this video today because I wanted to reveal everything before it launched, which by the way, this launches on Wednesday. This Wednesday, December 12th. I had to get this video up ASAP. I still want to post a video tomorrow. There are a couple things I want to say because I just had a meetup yesterday and I kind of wanted to upload a random rambles, kind of like my experience and just a few things I want to say after my meetup, some realizations and things like that. So I will be posting a video tomorrow as well. So you can get the products individually and then they will just come like this separately. So you can get, all right, drop those. You can get the shadows the lip products, but if you get the liquid lip bundle, this is the packaging it comes in. And then when you slide it out, these are the colors of the wind. Just kidding, I don't know why I said that last part. But this is the Twinkling Lights lip bundle. Everything has their regular silver details, but the actual liquid lipsticks say Twinkling Lights on them, and it's so cute and has a bunch of little star lights, you know, totally my thing, totally my thing. There are two lip glosses, an ultra matte lip and an ultra satin lip in this bundle. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start off with my favorite one, which is the one I am currently wearing on my lips. This is the bright, bold, amazing red in the collection, and this one is called Lucky Star. I knew for a fact I had to do a red for the holidays. I mean, it's the holidays. I had to do a red, and the weird thing is, we were actually talking about this, me and Jordan from ColourPop. I don't know how I never created a red before this point. I remember when I was leaving my middle school and transitioning into high school, I went to a completely different high school than all the kids I went to school with went. I didn't really relate to any of the kids that went to my middle school, so I wanted to go to a different high school with different people. And I remember thinking like, oh, the first day of freshman year, I'm just gonna walk into school with a red lip. No one's gonna know who I am anyway. No one's gonna think that's weird because they wouldn't have known me yet, you know? So that was honestly my thought. I was like, I'm gonna become the girl in the red lipstick. I'm gonna be Kat Dennings in high school. But the first day of school came and I didn't wear a red lip and then the second day came and I didn't wear a red lip and then it never happened after that. But my goal in high school was to wear red lipstick every single day. It just never happened. I don't know why I told you that story, but I absolutely love red lips. I think they're amazing. And this is the ultimate red lip for me, at least for a bright red lip. I obviously love deep red lips and I mean, <laughs> Reds are, all reds are amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Every single red lip is just special in its own way. But this one is really bright and bold and very, very eye-catching. I cannot tell you how many of you guys were asking me what was on my lips in my most recent videos where I'm wearing a bright red lip. All you guys were like, what's on your lips? We were dying to know, tell us, tell us. And that made me so happy and so excited because I really hope you guys love this red as much as I do. Oh, and the name is Lucky Star. And you'll see with all these names, they're really, they're random. I wanted to name everything based off of the theme. Twinkling lights, you know, like little Christmas lights. That was where I was going with that. So you know the song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? <laughs> the next clip I'm gonna show you is actually called Little Star. So when I looked at this one, I was like, this one could totally be Lucky Star because it just, it's like a lucky lip. This just looks like a lip color you put on, you feel powerful, you're gonna tackle your day, and you're gonna have lots of luck. So this is like your little lucky star. 
and that's why that's the name. And the other liquid lipstick is Little Star. Oh, by the way, this is an ultra satin lip. When I was creating the perfect red, obviously, my perfect formula from ColourPop is the ultra satin lip. So I thought, duh, I have to go with an ultra satin. But I know so many of you guys do really enjoy the ultra matte formula from ColourPop, and a lot of you guys have been asking me to create one. So I made Little Star an ultra matte finish, and this is so amazing this color is kathleen lights like if, if you think of kathleen lights besides orange this color is so me and it looks stunning on the lips this is the kind of color that you can just put on mascara and walk out the door and you look bold and beautiful without even trying at all it's such a beautiful deep brown with a hint of red it truly is a stunning color and by the way if i seem washed out the natural light is in and out of this room and the sun is so bright right now so please bear with me but yeah little star will be your new little friend so lip glosses to me have really made a comeback. I have been loving lip glosses so much. And when I was creating a holiday collection, I was like, I can't just do a regular nude or something basic. I wanted to do something a little bit more bold. So these are the ultra glossy lips in the collection. So this one is called Nightlight. And the reason I named it that is because it, it honestly looks like lights at night. So like nightlight. But this is the most epic glitterly, glitterly. That's like glitter and literally. This is glitterly amazing. It does have a deep base to it, so when you're applying it on the lips, you do see that brown really peek through. And I would personally recommend wearing this one with a lip liner. And my swatches I'm showing you, I don't have a lip liner on, but this color just looks gorgeous when you put on like a darker lip liner underneath, especially if you're really fair. A dark lip liner will just make this lip look so cool and extra dimensional, and all the glitters in this are so stunning. And if you look closely, this has like a bunch of pink glitters all throughout this. This color is a holiday a dream especially especially if you have a deep skin tone like this is gonna look beautiful on those of you with like really delicious chocolate skin oh my gosh this is gonna look like a like kind of nudish but like so sparkly and gorgeous this is for everyone but especially for those of you with medium to deep skin tones but I mean I wear it and I love it I'm obsessed with it I think it's so fun for the holidays and then last but not least, I wanted to do another gloss that was really different from me. I don't usually wear glosses like this, but this looks so stunning in the center of the lips, especially like with a nude lipstick on. For example, if you have the What's Your Sign lipstick from ColourPop, this gloss just thrown in the center of the lips and kind of blend it out, just catches the light, makes your lips look a little bigger, a little more like juicy. I love this. This is not necessarily like glossy and thick and shiny. It's more like sheeny and pearly. But don't let that scare you. It's really, really fun, especially for the holidays. I named this one Etoile. I hope I'm saying that right because I'm not French, but apparently I love the French language. <laughs> ever since I named my first collab ever Lumiere, it's kind of been a thing where I will give a little French twist on a word I want. So Etoile is actually French for star. And this is kind of like a sheeny, pearly, peachy, pinky nude. I would say that's the best way to describe it. And even though it's natural, it's still fun and different. And it looks so wearable and natural and beautiful right in the center. But you can totally wear this all over the place and just be like a sheen queen. So those are all the lippies you get in the Twinkling Lights lip bundle. The Super Shock Shadow Foursome is actually really, really cute. And I kind of kept this whole pinky red theme. No! I just dropped the red eyeshadow in the bundle and now it's everywhere. It's okay, I have another one in the like individuals to show you. The good thing about the ColourPop uh, Super Shock Shadows is if you drop it and break it like I just did, it has that moussey consistency to where you can just like press it back in. But anyway, this is what the uh, four shadows look like. So I'm gonna start with my favorite one in the bundle and that is the one I broke. And it's also the one I'm wearing on my eyes. This color is called Blitzen and it is the most fun, unique, pink, red, orange ever. In certain lights, it has a bit of an orange undertone, but then when you just slightly move it, you really see that pink just really show up. It has a bunch of little pink sparkles all throughout this, but also little golden flecks all throughout this as well. It's so jam-packed. It's not so much a chrome or a metallic finish like telepathy is. It's more of that chunky, glittery, chunky in a good way, glittery, foiled, flecky type of eyeshadow, and it just looks stunning all over the lids, perfect for holiday parties, or just anything festive. I love red eyeshadows. And I named it Blitzen because of the reindeers. That's one of their names. 
random maybe for a twinkling lights collection but you know it is the holiday so this one is called glisten and this one is like the more natural shade i actually wore this the other day all over my lid and this is the only color i had on this has such a pretty soft peachy sheen it just looks so lovely on the lids that's the only way to describe it it's really just a lovely eyeshadow if you have deeper skin tones this will be a beautiful highlight on you like emilia can totally highlight her brow bone with this and it'll look so pretty on me i just kind of use it as a wash of color all over the lid to give me a little bit of a sheen a little bit of something and it has that really pretty peachy undertone I don't know if you guys have been following me for that long but if you guys remember when I first discovered ColourPop when I was in Mississippi when they were just super shock shadows and lippy sticks they had an eyeshadow called smash that I really really loved this one is similar but it's like the peachy sheeny sister so next up we have another favorite of mine this one is called light up and it doesn't seem like anything special when you look at it in the pan, I swear. It just looks like a... Actually, it does kind of look really special when you look at it in the pan and you like twist it around and look at it in the sunlight. This is so gorgeous, this color. So good. It's kind of like a pinky, peachy champagne, but then it has a ton, like I'm talking a ton of gold glitter flecks all throughout this. This is a lot more shimmery than Blitzen. Blitzen has a bit of both where it's a little bit metallic and also glittery and shimmery. You still get that base color down but this is such a gorgeous eyeshadow topper. You guys have like no idea. Let's say you're using the Dream Street palette. You have all the mattes in your crease. You know you have like a whole matte look going on. You take a little bit of light up on your finger and just gently tap this on your lid and it will transform your whole look. It'll give it such a gorgeous effect. Oh my gosh, it'll be stunning and you'll have people asking you what's on your lids. I'm actually wearing this on top of Blitzen right now. The lighting in this video is a little bit weird, but you can see that I have it in my inner corners to highlight and then I brought it on the inner half of my lid and it just gives your eyes like a really gorgeous sparkle. This can be worn completely on its own and it'll look amazing, but it does look really stunning on top of other eyeshadows as well. I seriously love this one. It is definitely my most used one. I use it all the time when I'm not on camera. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the shade Vela, which now I say it like that, like Vela, because my Cuban comes out. Vela is candle in Spanish. But it is also the name of a constellation. For some reason, I wanted to name this one after a constellation. <laughs> and then I saw Vela was a thing, and I was like, uh, perfect, double meaning. Candle slash constellation. But this is Vela, and this one is really, really fun and unique. The sheen and the sparkle in this is a little bit more subtle than the other two shades. I don't know if you can tell, but when you're looking at this regularly, it kind of looks like a... I don't even know how I would describe this, like an orange, like a pinky orange color. But when you turn it in the light, that purple glitter or that purple pinky iridescence really shines through and it really shows up. This looks stunning on the entire lid, completely on its own. I would say most of these eyeshadows or at least the idea I had in mind with these eyeshadows were just like one and done shadows that you can just throw on your lid, put on mascara and go out the door. And this is definitely one of those. It has that really pretty flip that just looks so stunning on the lid. It's subtle, but you totally see it. The formula of this one is so soft. It's not chunky glitter or super sparkly. It's more of that sheeny duochrome. And I like that the orange base of this really shows up when you're applying it on the lids because you can buff this and blend this into the crease and it looks really, really good. Like it kind of looks like you have another eyeshadow in your crease as well. This is such a multi-dimensional eyeshadow and you can use it underneath the lash line on the outer corners like you can really uniqueify is that a word you can uniqueify an eyeshadow look with this guy and it is stunning okay guys so that's pretty much everything these are all the products you get in the twinkling lights collection i hope you guys really enjoy this collection i still wanted wearable colors and things that you would normally wear on a daily basis i know right now everything is like really bold and colorful and everything has already been done before Everything has already been done before. I feel like none of us are shocked by anything that releases these days. So that's why I know color is so big right now. I know color is like huge and I love color. But I still wanted wearable shades in these collection. Everything is really fun, so festive and perfect for the holidays. The look I'm actually wearing right now is like my favorite look. Gabby did something similar to this for our photo shoot and I just love it. Like I never want to take this makeup off. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy these products. Don't forget everything is limited edition. So if you like this and you want this or you want to gift this to a friend, just keep that in mind. I mean, unless one of these does really, really, really well where people are really liking it. Unless that happens, this is limited edition and these will all be gone once they sell out.
But even if you don't get anything, I just want to thank you for watching this video. I know some of you guys cannot buy my collab, but I just want you to know just watching my video, being so sweet to me in the comments, keeping up with me, that's still a sign of support. So I really, really appreciate you guys watching all my videos and sticking with me throughout the years because the beauty community is a very scary place these days. This whole world is a roller coaster ride, so I just want to thank you guys for always being so supportive. I cannot thank you guys enough. I honestly cannot thank you guys enough. You mean the world to me and I owe so much to you guys. So I really hope you like this collection. I hope you check it out. But that completes this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.